I'm getting used to hearing that voice mainly of yours. Dropped you a pin. Wanna come through? Yeah, Uncle Aaron. What? Too busy to visit Japan? Nah. I was just giving you space after you got out. Don't need it. Besides, we gotta settle some things. We do? See you soon, kid. Just go see him and get it over with, Miles. Then we focus on whoever took Lee and Scorpion. Something tells me they're planning something big. Another day, another disaster befalls our beautiful city. And guess who's to blame? In what should have been a routine prison transfer, the Spider-Men felt the need to inject themselves into a situation that was already being handled by the proper authorities, and completely botched it. A new group of mercenaries made their presence known in the hijacking of the supervillain Scorpion and Mr. Negative. Not much is known about this new collective, other than their penchant for animal skins. But one thing is abundantly clear. The spider did nothing to impede them. Had law enforcement been allowed to do their jobs, these criminals wouldn't be in the wind right now. Looks like we have an eyewitness calling in. Caller, you're live. Hi, Jonah. Thanks for having me. Just want to point out that what you're saying is a total lie. Here we go. I was there on the pier. Law enforcement was completely outmatched. The Spider-Men saved countless lives and almost stopped those bow and arrow geeks, too. First, you're lucky to be alive. Second, let me ask you, just this week alone, can you guess how much property damage those vigilantes are responsible for? No, but that's not the issue here. I don't have time to get into a circuitous whataboutism argument when there are costumed criminals reducing our city to rubble on a daily basis. Think of all the shipping delays we're gonna face because of this. When you can't shave because your favorite cream is trapped in shipping hell, make sure you thank the Spider-Man. Time for the bureaucrats to do their job. We need action. And also, a word from our sponsor. You really gotta do this with the mask on? Depends. Relax. I'm not trying to get my ass kicked by my nephew again. Your dad used to give me that exact same look. Kid? Martin Lee. Someone got him out. I know what you're thinking, Miles. This is not on you. We can't let him live up here. It's just another kind of prison. It's not that easy. Never said it was. But sometimes you gotta push the past away so you can make room for the future. That's actually why I call. Need your help getting something. Could get it myself, but... Parole means Prowler's retired. 
What is it? Just some old tech I gotta get off the street. Stashed it by a decommissioned Roxxon lab near Central Park. Yeah, I know the one. Are you really putting Prowler behind you? Behind us. You getting some? How did you... And Miles, that Lee business? Don't be stupid. Yeah, yeah. I'm serious, Miles. I've heard this dude can turn your brain into scrambled eggs. Leave it alone. Now, what else is going on? Our school, college, anyone you like? I don't know. So there is someone. I'm here. What am I looking for? Just use your eyes, nephew. Uploaded some prowler code into your mask when I swiped it. Of course you did. The stash stays hidden until it detects the code from my suit. Last step is to decrypt the key. Give it a shot. Done. Not bad, kid. Another gate. Sweet. Can't pull it open from down here. made a decent prowler. You should be seeing how to get inside now. <laughs> Got it. You want to finally tell me what this is? Old suit prototypes. Feel free to keep it. Some good tech in there. Cool. Could definitely use this. This isn't the only stash. Unk. Whoever freed Lee sounds like my tech is right up their alley. Don't want it falling into the wrong hands. You're the only person I trust with this. Okay. I got you. Coordinates are in the mask. Thanks, nephew. Don't be a stranger. Wonder what Ma's gonna say about this. Oye, Miles. Me enteré de lo que pasó con el transfer, hijo. Está bien. Sí, Ma. Todo bien. Está va ayudando a Uncle Aaron with some stuff. Ah. ¿Y cómo está él? Está trotando. Pues qué bueno. Mami, te veo en casa. And before you ask me again, estoy bien. Te lo juro. Te quiero. Let's head out into the city. See what's going on. Maybe even find Lee while I'm at it.
Maybe I can snap a few pics for Robbie. to a halt. We'd love to see it. Miles, club fair, remember? You on your way? Oh, right, that's today. <laughs> Mr. Atlas is confirmed to be here. He's got the best music technology program in the state. And I heard he's talking scholarships. I have so many questions for him. Be there soon. City seems pretty quiet. Still no sign of Lee. Or the gang that took him. Wonder if Pete's having better luck than me. Hey Pete, you ready to come by the Foundation? Sure! I'm excited to see what you're up to! Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from MJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah. Whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of... Big game hunter, fur vest looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. Looks like one of Marco's memory crystals Miles told me about. I should check it out. Everything okay? We we're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely. Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. I was wondering what this place was. It's Emily's tree. This is perfect. You made it! I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less... this. But my dad was the one who 
You know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker! <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place... Right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... Got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, Jean. I just checked in on Dan and Annie. That data does not cross tabulate with the AI learning it during the last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. The carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? This is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were trained to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killers. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. You see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting them, the better our drones are at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Oh, nice! Yes! Yep. Oh, yeah! Gotta protect the hive! Nice! You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a 
a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe I can help. Oh yeah, that would take a while. I'm not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here. What's this? Some kind of radiation treatment, maybe? Wonder if this is what they used for Harry's treatment. Have you seen Mr. Osborne yet? Welcome Harry? to Space Research. Uh, yeah. All the time. I mean, Norm's Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. I wonder how it ended up here. Dr. Washington, your lab supplies have arrived. Please dial operation. The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of new brand in mind? I heard that doctor has a prototype inside the Baxter building. Have you been out to the Hudson Valley facility? Yeah. Welcome to entomology. Beehives show complex group decision making and group locomotion. Drones. Yeah, uh, doing a little cross collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultra light drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will, by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. There's so much to explore, but I shouldn't keep Harry waiting. Did you hear about Roger? You really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but I'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. Sure I feel great. Sure so put your Wayback Helmet on and think back. Really? Even before high school. I can probably pay to middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. Hello? 
So calming, and that we're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. I'll be sure to go check that out. I see what you're saying. The algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Mm -hmm. Thank you for understanding. See you soon. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Interesting. Let's see. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. -y. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet, not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I... Put it. Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. Go ahead. Swipe. Wow.
Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> Oh, one quick thing. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. <laughs> oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the locations, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... It's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on! Don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me. Your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there. I don't see any bad guys. Maybe Miles and Genki had it wrong? Hey, I'm at the bridge. But there's no sign of our mysterious safari pirates. Ah, oh, man. We were sure it was there. Sorry about the wild goose chase. Don't sweat it. We'll find him. Glittering? Come on, man.
Okay. What in the... Arachnid, come on! Now have your boss with the main get this kind of tech! A true hunter knows how to come over. You could have just said, I don't know. Criminals? Not far. They're enjoying their freedom. That's not ominous at all. <laughs> Should take a look around. What do we have here? Maybe it'll lead me to some answers. Okay, Birdie. Take me to your nest. Gonna miss these chases when I'm at Emily May. The adrenaline, going through the city like it's an obstacle course, never gets old. Getting to do real science, though, for actual money. Oh my god, I finally did it. I have a stable career. Okay, cool it, Parker. Daydream about those fat science decks later. Time to chase. Whoa! Is that a railgun that actually works? Mind if I take a look under the hood? I'll take that as a no. That's too close now. I wonder if I can get my suit to identify their visual frequencies. I don't see your boss around. Where's he hiding? I want to talk to him about his lifestyle choices. You are not worthy of his attention. But Scorpion is? Okay! Watch yourself! Now, where's your boss? Another robot. Maybe I can test something out. Okay, let's see. Sorry, Birdie. This is just as awkward for me as it is for you. There should be a... Yep. Oh, is that your home? Oh, come on, Birdie! Let go! Come on! Not buy a ticket for this ride! Gonna send this location to MJ. Maybe she can dig up some building records. Where are we going now? Hey, 
MJ, did you get that location data I sent you? Yeah, it's an old food market. Owner died last year. Building sold a few weeks ago. Wait, this buyer. There's some shell company that's been acquiring property all over the city, like whole city blocks. I tried to do a story on them last month, but the trail dried up. Every person I was talking to just vanished. Go make yourselves useful. Our departure is imminent. Who are these people? I'm gonna find out. Good luck. Need to take these two out nice and quiet. And the rest of the hunters? Their blinds are all set up and communications have been linked. We're ready. What a city to hunt in. Gotta drop one of them away. fast. You find something? Two things. This armed group calls themselves hunters. And they've got a lot of accents. Hmm. International mercenaries? Good. That's what I'm thinking. Generators are green. Could be front page material for your article. I'm writing it up now. Thanks. Oh, and speaking of work, I accepted Harry's offer. That's fantastic! We should celebrate later after you're done with your current work. Totally. Talk soon. That's a lot of gear. It's like they're prepping for war. Two of your lines have stopped responding. The spider has been seen in your area. Craven! That's their leader! Craven, my sights! everyone. Now, what were they up to? <laughs> Hello. Surveillance video from the blind I was just at. Looks like they've got others all around the city. I'll send this to Genki, but he could help pinpoint these. What's Craven hunting? And why? Yes, it's loaded, so I'll join you soon. Just make sure the beasts have the right scent. I want them hungry. You hungry too? <clears throat> there we go. Aw, for me? You shouldn't have. Sturdy and flexible. Hmm. I wonder. Nice. Time to take my shiny new toy for a test drive. Surrounding bases are online. Remaining blind secured. Cloaking feels operational. Good. Beetles, Dalandrons, ammunition, rations. Hmm. These guys are better equipped than most armies. This Craven guy must be rich. Or well connected. Or both.
fair enough. But I did not expect Craven to care so much about plan. Oh, it's <laughs> In his pouches, but a restricted zone in a straight jacket of modern medicine. That explains a lot. What do you mean? No man can have strength like you. Not normally. Sir! Take him out! from poison clouds. This is the only way. A research lab? That's the Tiara Apitahi. One of the rarest flowers in the world. Its extract has some... Pretty powerful medicinal properties. I tried to get some years ago to counteract Scorpion's poison, but couldn't afford the flights to... Riotea? Guess Craven could. Hallucinogens. Probably the worst part of Scorpion's poison. If Craven's adding this to his arsenal... Ugh. Were they testing their weapons on that armor? And not a single scratch? Almost an exact replica. Must have been probing it for weaknesses. Can never be too careful with Scorpion. Wait a sec. <laughs> Would you look at that? Hey, MJ. I have another name for you. Craven. Seems like he's the boss of these guys. And he's here on some kind of hunt. Craven the Hunter. What's he hunting? Whatever it is, it definitely involves Scorpion and Lee. Mind looking into this Craven guy in the meantime and letting Miles know what's up? Already on it. Stay safe. How many more fires must we light out in this city? As many as we need to. Craven said they surrounded him in his dream. But if his dream is... I was worried Lee wouldn't have any spirit left in him after being locked away for so long. That man. He's like a coiled viper. Call him his butt. Put him in the car. Avoid him! Oh, my God. 
relocating. I could really use some answers instead of. All right, Craven. What are you looking for? Wait. I get bringing Scorpion and Lee on a hunt, but Black Cat's a thief. I don't. Never gonna win best in show with that attitude! <laughs> Nice, doggy, kitty, robot! Show up. He's hurt. Stop. Actually, now that you're here, question what's Craven hunting? Maybe I can help. Craven guy's putting together quite the team.
Is this the best you can do? They said you were a killer. Imagine my disappointment. He's not teaming up with supervillains for some hunt. There is prey. Felicia. Where are you? Estás listo? For what? En serio? My date's almost here and you're surfing the web? Ma, no one says surfing the web anymore. Uh, can you just please get dressed? Okay, okay. See, you got your good lipstick on. <laughs> you must really like this guy, huh? Miles? I'm sorry. Next time, I promise. I, Miles. I love you. Hey, so I found a base belonging to those safari pirates, or hunters as they call themselves, and learned their boss's name, Craven. And he killed Scorpion, and he's got a whole hit list of supervillains. Wait, what? Does this mean Lee? Don't know, but this list is extensive. This must be the people Marco warned us about. They were hunting Sandman. No way. And Felicia's on their list too. Black Cat, your ex? Exactly. She won't listen to me if I say she's in danger. But maybe she'd listen to someone she doesn't know. If MJ reached out to you with some addresses, would you be up for taking point on this? I got you. Thanks, really. I gotta clear my head for a bit, but call me if anything comes up, and... We're going to find Lee, Miles. I promise. Guess I've got some time until MJ calls. What's going on in the neighborhood? <laughs> 